perhaps no other sexual phenomenon is as shrouded in mystery as female ejaculation. Even in 2017, when we're finally talking about women's orgasms and how the majority require clitoral stimulation, the concept of squirting is often met with skepticism. So is female ejaculation real, or merely a stunt invented by the porn industry or worse just pee, and can every woman learn to squirt I ask the experts. Advertisement continue reading Bello Aggarding to French gynecologist and sex researcher Dr. Samuel Salama, it is important to understand the difference between female ejaculation and squirting. He says that female ejaculation happens from the female prostate yes, it exists, and is about 5 cm3, and produces less than 1 milliliter of milky white liquid. This female ejaculate is composed the same as male ejaculate, but without the sperm. Squirting, on the other hand, can exceed 150 milliliters, and the liquid is yellow or clear, as it contains urea, uric acid and creatine and comes from the bladder. So far, so urine. Dr. Salama claims that these two liquids can be present together or separately, and that there are many factors that can influence the dilution of each. Science versus sensation but I've also spoke to sexpert girl on the net and asked her how significant it is that we rely on what science says about squirting. After all, science is rarely on our minds when we're getting down to it. People who squirt when they come will tell you that it is very different to the sensation of when they pee and that the taste, smell and consistency of what comes out is very different to pee. My approach to all sexual matters is this ask the person you are sleeping with how it feels, listen to their response, and pleasure them accordingly. No shame, no judgment, and definitely no questions like are you sure you are, not just peeing yourself, the related article 8 health benefits of great sex confidence and relaxation so that's the what, but what about the how and why drive? Salama says that there are two types of squirter the dependent who requires pressure on the spot and the bladder neck at the same time to reach a satisfying climax and the autonomous squirter who can just lie back and have a blast, so to speak. But she must be relaxed and confident to let it go, says Dr. Salama. And it helps if her partner presses on the spot. The good news is that, if you want to squirt, Dr. Salama says you can, as he believes there is no anatomical predisposition to being able to. But that doesn't necessarily mean you'll find it easy, or even particularly revolutionary should you figure it out. Getty K. Image Trevor Adeline Girl on the Net offers some sage advice for those of us who would like to give squirting a fair shot don't push yourself, or feel like you have to be able to do this thing. I have tried many times a combination of penetration techniques, toys, angles, and simply going at it for a really long time and haven't achieved a squirt yet. It's important to recognize that everyone's body is different, and pleasure should always be your first goal, rather than performance or ticking boxes. Shame is a shame but the first big step to ensuring more women have the confidence to unlock their squirting potential, or share it with a partner is to combat sexual stigma and demystify the topic. I think one of the best ways to improve education around all kinds of orgasm is to talk about it focus on sex as a pleasurable thing for the people involved, rather than a means to an end. Explains Girl on the Net. When I was at school, I was taught that sex begins with an erection and ends with ejaculation, that's a very penisphagous way to view sex, and it also misses out the fact that there are many ways to have sex that don't involve a penis or penetration at all. I hope that those who experience squirting for the first time don't panic or have their partners panic and are able to enjoy this for what it is just a normal thing that their body does in response to certain stimulation.